you know, humanity is a journey. Um, is it individually or uh, society? It's a journey. Um, and when we know from the past, we move forward by being conscious of what is happening in our surrounding, not only in our family, but in our society, in our communities. And often these responsibilities are given to individuals or leaders uh, or governments. But the time has shown us that the, one of the most powerful impact maker in society is business. It's entrepreneurs with their um, innovations and understanding that the, the, the business's power on, on community and society to move forward in a good way. And we see in all those topics, there's an angle that business touch and there's an angle that business can make it better. And the question is, is it in conflict with that statement is making is that core purpose of business is to make money for the shareholders. And I think time and time we're seeing that from all angles, um, socially responsible companies, that they mean it, that it's in their DNA, that they are consciously moving to that direction, that is also aligned with the business principles. And there has to be someone leading this uh, or a group of people that are leading this. And often this comes from the top, but we also see coming from the rest of the company pushing for a company to go to that direction. For Hank and for me, I would say it's easier because we started that way. We believe that way. We, 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 the group of people that we started with, we were in the same wave. When Tani's Chocolate started, it started with that purpose. Uh, when Chobani started, we started with the purpose of not to repeat the one who closed the fact. So for us, is a little bit easy. What we are facing is what is the most effective way is the companies that exist today. They are large, big companies that has so much uh, footprint uh, in society. Uh, what happens if they change? What happens if they decide, you know, we will make an impact in society in a very positive way on this one, on this one, on this one, and we mean it. This question comes, but how? We know how to operate this way. If we do this way, are we going to lose what we have? Are we going to be less profitable? Are we going to get confused? Are we going to lose the side of the things that we are so passionate about? Delivering, making money, all that kind of stuff. So how do you convince that? And you know, at Tent, uh, at our foundation, we go to companies, in large scale companies. Um, and I know with Hank, we were surrounded around this round table in Amsterdam with large companies, CEOs, and have a discussions about it. I think the most important thing is to start the way. And I always say, when you start walking the way, the way appears. And I also think that when you make the first step, the second step, and the third step, and the more people that come and join, we don't have to have all the blueprints of how this is going to shape. I think we have to be just open to wonders and open to failures and open to uh, discoveries um, ourselves. The good point coming today is those leaders who are passionate about changing the companies are not alone anymore. You know, we have consumers demanding you to go to that direction. We have employees are demanding to go to that direction. And we have even investment communities is asking us to go to that direction because the companies are meaningfully going into the socially responsible territories are valued higher, considered to be tomorrow's and future's companies. So today is the job is easy. I guess the biggest question is not if a company should go into that socially conscious direction, is how we should go to that socially uh, conscious direction. And I would say just take the first step forward and then the second one and then the third one and let the magic happens. Um, as I said, it's easy for me because this is the only way I know. Um, you know, I, I, um, I started Chobani in a factory that was closed after 75, 80 years by a large food company. And I started with the five factory workers um, uh, in that plant. You know, when I visited that factory first time, I was upset that somebody made a decision far away to close this place without seeing those people, without seeing that community, by just looking at some papers and saying, we can, cost, you know, we can, we can save uh, money by just closing this or, you know, um, uh, without understanding. Me, when I walked in there, I saw the treasure. Um, there is a, there's a line, Rumi says, when there's a ruin, there's, there's going to be some treasures in there. And my treasure was the spirit of people in that community. And I thought, if I could bring this back up, I will never repeat the person, people, or the 
or the company that who made the decision to close this. And that included every minute, every hour, every day, every week, being conscious of that idea of making decisions, building a culture, not only how can I make this product so tasty, not only how can I save money here and there, not only how I can I find out how to sell in this retailer or that retailer, or how I'm going to make the brand look this way and that way, but how are the other issues surrounding? So we never really uh, created that this hour is the business hour and this hour is the social hour, this hour is the foundation hour, it was all the same hour. So we faced challenges or opportunities within those hours or days and we interact with them as it came. And today is the same way. We do not have a foundation, for example. You know, I, I'll give you a great example on this during this pandemic. Um, it was a shock, just like everybody else. It was a shock that came to us. All of a sudden, our offices are closed. I can't see my colleagues anymore. I have never done in my life a video conference. <laughs> you know, I, I did FaceTime with my kid and all that kind of stuff, but I've never done a business interaction on a video. And all of a sudden, I couldn't see them. And when I was talking to my colleagues and they came up with these three fundamentals and they said, one, we have to make sure all our people are safe. Second, we have to make sure that our plants are running so we can continue our business and we can su supply food to the people who need. And three, we have to be part of the, our communities uh, that there will be massive amount of hunger, need for food and inspiration for people so, they, so we continue, we get out of this. Now the heights of this and March and those three we're not in an order of one is more important than the third one. They all, you know, surrounding of three dimensions. And I look back and I say, this is why the companies who are responsible, socially responsible, companies who have very strong culture, companies who believe fundamentally on human spirit and moving uh, society forward. Um, and these are in making in minutes and hours and days. And you celebrate everything in a good day, but when a tough day comes, culture takes over. It's an anger. It's a very, very powerful anger. And that tough time comes like we have today in pandemic. Tough time can come, you might have some issues in the plants and in business or in marketplace. Proudly, our culture took over. And from every angle, I was so proud of every single brothers and sisters I have in our, in our company, that how they behave, how they kept themselves safe, and how they inspired uh, others, and how they participated making the society moving forward. Not only demand was so high, and our productivity was better than ever before, our innovation has never been this uh, perfect. Uh, our selling is never, we never sold this much, uh, even though we never visited our customers. And every single day, they managed to make extra truckload of yogurt and ship it to and 45 states around the country every single day. And our employees, our uh, members, family members, would go to places where they are and be part of uh, delivering those foods uh, through the food banks. So, and our attendance has never been this good. You know, and we give everybody say, if you don't feel good, don't come to work, uh, and you will, of course, get paid for the next two weeks. And our sick leaves has been half of ordinary year's sick leaves. Can you imagine this? So that's culture. That's when it comes to a surface, and you get together, you surround it, and you move forward. And, and, and you inspire uh, you know, your community. To me, um, Building these fundamentals are the hardest work to do. You know, you could write things on the wall all day long. You know, we are for this, we are for this, we are for that, are, you know, fine. I, I, I don't like those things. What matters the most is what happens within the walls. And the collection of those days, how do you behave in a hard day? How do you behave in a good day? Um, what are those stories, those human stories? Uh, are making up all these companies and, and, and the culture, of course. So to me, it's very easy because the engine is, takes over. And people think that I'm the one who does all of this. I'm just one. Um, 
and I'm part of this family that uh, truly we are in the same way. We are different. We have backgrounds from 20 different nationalities, different different languages are spoken, different different professional backgrounds are, 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 are existing. But yet, when it comes to WAVE, uh, we say, we make yogurt every day. But making yogurt every single day, or making chocolate every single day, we can move society, humanity, a little forward. And that's why I come to work. And we face these questions all the time. Yes, you, but it's nice to have refugees. It's nice to be good to the environment. It's good to be part of the social issues and, and take a stand. But how is that going to affect my sales? How is that going to affect my profitability? How is that going to affect my you know, continuity uh, when it comes to uh, innovations and all that kind of stuff? And is it going to take my time or my team time to worry about all those things? And should I, should I hire other people to worry about that? Should I give donations? It's all fine. Our response has always been, we have done a lot of research. We did it with the Stern Business School at NYU with Tent. And we ask questions to consumers, not only in the US, we did it in Germany, in France, in South America, all around the world. So here's the, here are the facts. Consumer loves you more if you're truly involved in social issues. So they, they get addicted to your products, they get attached to your products, they, they emotionally get connected to, 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 to your products. So that's a fact. If you want to sell more in the future, you have to get involved with the social issues, period. I mean, that's a business uh, maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, that might not be the case, but today is the case. The second one, if you want young, innovative, smart, passionate people to come work with you, for you, you have to involve with the social issues. Nobody wants to work with a boring, just money-making money company anymore. And that's the fact. And the third thing is, if you are socially conscious, truly care about your surroundings, humanity, and, uh, and, and social issues. Not only uh, you will be loved by your consumers and by your uh, employees, you are faster, you are more innovative, you have more time, you don't know what to do with it. It's like a, a, a second engine you add into your, uh, your, your, your spaceship. And, and, and time and time and time and again, and it's, it's been proven that companies who truly care for social issues and, and care about humanity are the ones who are um, extremely advantaged, the ones that who are not. So this motion of if I get involved with the social issues, is it going to affect me in a negative way is completely wrong, absolutely the opposite. 